In this video, we'll cover exporting invoices and payments from Service CEO directly to a QuickBooks file. As with all exports to QuickBooks, it's required that the QuickBooks file be open on the machine that you're currently in, that you be logged in as an administrator in single user mode. You can check to make sure you're in single user mode by clicking File. If it says switch to multi-user mode, you're in single user mode. If it says switch to single user mode, you're in multi-user mode. Service CEO's integration with QuickBooks on the way out is managed in the Accounting tab. Here, you would typically create custom views. In this example, they're called Ready to Export. You can name it whatever you'd like. These custom views are smart, intelligent custom views that only include invoices and or payments depending on which tab you're in that are ready to be sent over to QuickBooks. You can define your own criteria. The normal criteria is that the work order from the actual invoice has been closed out and that that invoice or payment has not been sent over to QuickBooks yet. You can see our QuickBooks export column here indicates that all three of these invoices have not been sent. However, if we switch back to our all view, certainly there will be some in here that have been sent over to QuickBooks previously from the system. You can apply other filters on here as well. For example, if you only wanted to send things from QuickBooks from Service CEO after a particular date, you can filter on your issue date here, for example. Your customer success manager here at Service CEO will be able to help you get this set up and functioning properly the first time through. Now let's go through the actual process of exporting your invoices and payments to QuickBooks from Service CEO. Again, this is done from the accounting tab here. You'll want to use your ready to export view. And again, the benefit of this view is it's smart and rolling, so I want to send everything that's in this list over to QuickBooks, whether there's two or 20 invoices in this view. Everything in this view either hasn't been sent to QuickBooks or has changed in Service CEO since it was last sent to QuickBooks. If that were the case, it would appear in this and it would say out of date under the QuickBooks export column instead of not sent. To initiate the export, I'm simply going to choose all of my invoices, click Common Actions, Export to QuickBooks, we'll fill out the checklist and hit Continue here. This will again start a session that I just need to open. Note that any new customers that are not in your QuickBooks file yet will be created in your QuickBooks file through this import. Same with any uh, products or services that are not in your QuickBooks file yet. They will be created in QuickBooks through this export. You can see here an item we have called Drywall is not in QuickBooks. So I have to choose which of my accounts from my chart of accounts in QuickBooks to assign that to. We'll go with the revenue account here and hit OK. You can see it added a new customer here called Apartment Test. It's adding the items, adding the invoices. We'll just hit OK on these items. Items only need to be approved once when you send them in. So next time I send over an invoice with the backup software item on it, they will already be there. It won't have to be added again. That's the first step. Now we've sent over all of our invoices. We'll come look at the QuickBooks file. And you can see I have my three invoices here that now carry a balance that we've sent over. Next, I'll come back to Service CEO into my accounting tab. You can see that my ready to export list and the invoices is now empty because these have all been sent over. And now to finish the process, I'm going to send over all of my payments in the export list as well. Again, we'll simply select all, hit Common Actions, Export to QuickBooks. Finish the checklist here and hit Continue. This is now applying the payments that we've entered in QuickBooks or in Service CEO into our QuickBooks database, linking them to those actual invoices that they're applied to. If you do use QuickBooks Merchant Services for credit card processing, we can set it up so that the credit card payments will be entered into QuickBooks and then you simply need to press the button to process it. Again, now we'll go back to our accounting tab. We have no more invoices or payments to send over to QuickBooks. When we come look at QuickBooks, we can see there's zero balance on the three invoices that we've sent over today. You can also come in and look at the actual payment or the invoice directly from here. 
This concludes the training video on exporting your invoices and payments to QuickBooks from Service CEO. Please contact any of your Service CEO point of contacts or technical support for assistance.